Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe. We're here with Super Bowl champion tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we're going inside the Patriots playbook off of the victory over the Raiders on Sunday. Jermaine, we're going to look at a very big play in this game. Uh, end of the opening drive of the third quarter, mm -hmm. Patriots were up 17-10 at that point. Patriots rushed for 185 yards with the running back, mm -hmm. 33 of which came on this play to the rookie Stephen Ridley. Now, what, what are the Patriots aiming at? What, what's their goal on this play? What type of play are we looking at? Well, first off, what you get here is something unique that I like. They come up, Brady's on the center. There are three receivers to the left, one receiver to the right, Ridley in the backfield. So now they can give the illusion of run or pass. Normally, when you see them run the ball, they like to be in shotgun draws, or when they run out of Brady being on the center, this is usually Green Ellis. So that's what I like, the first thing here. So as the play develops, I'm going to show you what they do. Now, from an Oakland standpoint, they have to play run and pass. Close to the red zone, we call it the fringe area when they're not inside the 20, right outside, that's called the fringe area. So they have to play run or pass. And now what the Patriots do on this play, this is a inside stretch zone play. So Gronkowski will come over here in short motion. And what his job is to do is seal the edge. But what, what Oakland does is they walk this linebacker on the ball. And now Gronkowski will come off, he'll block this linebacker, um, Solder will block this defensive end. The center and right guard, they're going to work a double team up to this backside linebacker right here. You'll have Mankins cut off the backside, Light cut off the backside. Deion Branch does a tremendous job of blocking his guy downfield. It's called a stock block, but he does a great job of blocking that DB. They're going to come, they're going to sell an inside stretch where he's going to, where Ridley's going to come off the edge. He's looking to now either hit this C gap or B gap inside of um, the right, inside of the between him and the tackle, or inside here between guard and tackle. So what he does is he comes and, and Rob came over and he made a tremendous block right here. You'll see Ridley hit right inside the tackle as everything starts to flow. He'll hit right inside of the tackle and it's a huge hole. Offensive line, they do a great job. Now what happens is what you want is you want one on one with the safety and Ridley. And that's the matchup that they got. And Ridley does a great job of breaking a tackle, making this guy miss, and scoring a touchdown. And that's the critical play right there. This is where I think, you know, Ridley shows his potential. Yep. I mean, he's a good player right now, but his potential because, you know, good players, maybe they get tackled yeah. by that safety. The, the, the players that have a chance to be very good in this league, they make a move or break that tackle and take it the distance. Yeah, and what you did. see is here with Ridley, a good player or maybe an average player gets a 12-yard gain. Mm -hmm. What Ridley does, he gets a touchdown. That's the difference, making the guy miss. They, the offensive line, tight ends, receivers, they did their job. They made sure everything was shored up. Now they're saying, you're one-on-one -on -one with the safety. We, we like where you are. We'll take a 12-yard gain. But if you can get a touchdown, that's a bonus. And Ridley showed his ability to now turn this play into a 12-yard gain into a touchdown. Sounds good. For Jermaine Wiggins, I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe. Thanks for watching Inside the Playbook.